Well, Kim Barrett is our wonderful um, costume designer, and I think she's just taken the movie to a whole nother level. And she's just done a beautiful job with the same idea that she that she created the first Matrix with. Well, we've been here for a couple of weeks and we're just starting work on the sequels. So we're rounding everybody's measurements up since they've probably changed and it's a long time since we've seen them and trying to get things into prototyping so we can move ahead fast. The first things we do after discussing all the ideas with the director and the production designer is I start sending away for fabric samples and then we usually try and see the actors if we can and start making prototypes of costumes in major sequences. This movie, you know, we know a lot of the things that we didn't know before and we know a lot of the people we didn't know before. So there's a kind of a shorthand that's already in action. There's a certain continuity to the look, which means we can, we've nutted out the major look and now we can kind of have fun tweaking the details. You still have to sort out the practicalities of things because there are so many different stunts and different requirements and different people. Okay. So I, mean, I think you should put them in the back <gasps> in a shadowy <gasps> corner. Okay. But at the same time, you know, you've got a little bit more freedom because you know a lot of the things that did work last time. It's fun for me because we can play a lot, you know, no, Carrie Ann's not worried about wearing skin tight leather anymore and Keanu's not worried about, you know, being the one, so we have more places to go for them. Kim is great. She's got this whole thing where she sees things in colours and, you know, it's like, I don't understand how she does what she does, but I do appreciate what she does. I'm looking at the big picture of the whole movie, or in this case, movies and every member of the cast and all the different conceptual worlds that we move through. It's a very organic process because things are coming from all over the world and people are working in little shops all around the city or in different countries. It's, you know, it's like its own corporation almost.